Broadway quality live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. We are Mermaid Theatre of Nova Scotia and today uh, we are presenting three different stories uh, that are all done by the same author and artist uh, whose name is Leo Leone and those stories are Swimmy, Frederick and Inch by Inch. Swimmy is the story of a fish who teaches his friend fish to swim in the shape of a fish so that they don't get eaten by the bigger fish. Frederick is the story of a mouse who seems like he's a little bit lazy, but it turns out that he's collecting ideas and colors and stories and and he keeps the he sustains his fellow mice in the winter in the cold by reminding them of the beauty of pr the previous seasons and thus the artist is uh, appreciated in his community, which is kind of a fun story for us to tell <laughs> as artists. And then Inch by Inch is not surprisingly about an inchworm who avoids being eaten by proving his usefulness. Four, five inches. The puppeteers are visible and they're usually dressed in black. It's actually inspired by a Japanese style of puppetry called bunraku. The show that the audience sees in Swimmy is completely different from what's going on backstage, which is a series of sort of painted plexiglass moving around on uh, castered boards and stuff like that. Uh, so it's an interesting way of achieving the effect uh, and it's uh, very unique. In that process, we are behind the screen with a projector shining behind us. So we have these beautiful little puppets that the light shines through and it's a lovely shadow effect. And so some of the tricks that we use, for example, to get the gliding fish effect, we scoot around on our skateboards that we have, um, or we hold up these little puppets on poles very, very carefully to try to give the effect that they're swimming. The artistic director of Mermaid Theatre is Jim Morrow, and he's my father. And so I've just grown up watching it and loving it, and always wanted to get my hands on the puppets. So took some puppetry workshops through Mermaid Theatre. They offer some excellent puppetry training programs called Animotion and Playthings. And finally, after I'd gone through all the appropriate training, he was allowed to hire me. <laughs> Mermaid has a very elegant and graceful way to present stories. Um, a lot of children's theater is really loud and in your face, and we like to have a much more gentle approach. We choose stories that complement that style. And also stories that have visual elements that we think would be fun as puppets. Yeah. So if it's a story like Swimmy that's filled with all these beautiful images and all these beautiful characters, it just naturally stands uh, that it could be a great puppet show, that you could bring these characters to life. But Frederick said, Oh no, I am gathering words. For the winter days are long and many, and we'll run out of things to say. When we travel to other places, they'll bring in American Sign Language interpreters to, uh, to sign this show while we're performing it. And when we were in Chicago for an extended stay with one of the other shows, they had a lot of children on the spectrum that came to see our shows and they really appreciated the fact that the, the text is exactly as it is in the book. So they, those children respond to the familiarity of these are the words that I know, these are the characters that I know. I'm allowed to participate by listening, by watching, by remarking, oh, there he is, yeah, and we, there's... There's a, a long-standing policy of, at Mermaid that our shows are non-shushing shows, so we encourage the kids to speak out uh, as much as they want. Oh, 